All right, so we're back outside. Um, okay. So you know how I said I own an opinions confessions account on Instagram? Well, yeah, not anymore. Well, it's still up, but I kind of just fell out of love of posting just opinions on Instagram, at least. I kind of want to move everything, like opinions and stuff like that, to YouTube. Now, the Utahzen Instagram account is a Utah's Facts account. Like, I'm just posting facts about Utah, because why not? I just decided to stop posting opinions there, plus I wasn't passionate about posting there anymore. Plus, people stopped looking into my page, so it's basically dead. But before I make entire episodes on past opinions that I posted there, I have a few opinions in which are not long, and I will share them with you today. By the way, I just want to remind people that an opinion is subjective, so this is what I think and what I see, and it's not going to match everyone, and that's fine. You can try to scream at me in the comments on how that's not what you think. It's an, it's an opinion. Sit down. So let's start with the first one. Shinies Don't Call Me doesn't really sound like a shiny song. Whether you're in a company and in any company, the individual groups will have their individual sound and style. As for SM, Red Velvet sounds different from Espa and Girls' Generation. XL sounds different than Super Junior and NCT and Shiny. However, this song didn't say Shiny, if that makes sense. Am I saying I didn't like the song? No, I, the song slapped and when Shiny said Shiny's back, they meant Shiny's back. But when I first listened to it, it, to me, sounded like a song that Super M or NCT could perform. Hell, even EXO can pull it off. It sounds like their newer sound. I actually posted this on my Twitter and someone responded with, Well, Shiny is an experimental group. I know that. However, like I said, they just kind of had a set style. And obviously that may vary due to the change in time and what's hot. And especially with how old Shiny is, their music needs to be more modernized. But you would still have a certain style and sound and just the entire vibe that says, yes, this is a Shiny song. But I didn't get that from Don't Call Me. I got Super M, NCT, EXO vibes, and that's not a bad thing. It just reminded me of that style, and I don't hate the song. I just want to really clarify. I basically listen to the song every day. Please, I don't want anyone to get confused or get the impression that I'm saying it doesn't sound like a shiny song, so I don't like it. Or Super M or NCT can sing it better than them. I saw a confession on Instagram that someone had said the same thoughts as I did. That it sounded something like NCT would sing. But there was a comment that said, Don't Call Me doesn't fit NCT at all. And I'm like, uh, except it does. I didn't read birds. I didn't reply because I felt like they were going to attack me and I was not in the mood for arguing if it were to happen. So I'd rather not potentially start one. And I also want to tell everyone that, sure, the majority of K-pop loves, respects, looks up and even agrees that Shiny is one of the most iconic if not the most iconic group in K-pop but just because that they have that impression doesn't mean you have to like their stuff if you don't like it I know there are some people out there that are like oh my gosh you don't listen to Shiny oh my gosh you don't like Shiny oh my gosh you don't agree that Replay is the best debut like if they don't like them they don't like them and that's that. Liking Shiny isn't a personality trait or makes you a, a better K-pop stan. But yeah, that's what I think about Don't Call Me. It's an amazing song, but I just, I didn't get Shiny vibes, okay? Next opinion. Stream this song or stream this song just like you stream that song. In the end, it's about taste. Maybe not many people are into slow, smooth ballads than an upbeat song and vice versa. I know we want our faves, views, and streams to be 
a large number and those numbers are what make the group successful but you cannot tell make or force someone to stream it if they don't want to it's up to them if they want to stream it even when they don't vibe with it like i don't really like dna by bts but i still help them to get to 1 billion views on youtube but it's up to them if they want to do that they have the choice if they will only stream the songs they like or to even stream at all i'm not one who streams their faves because i just don't so i can't complain about my face not getting the recognition if i didn't participate and you damn not gonna change my mind if you're just gonna tell me to stream stream this stream that sometimes people will take it to extremes and tell them that they are not real fans if they do not stream their song or the song that has fewer streams or views just stream what you want without being annoying about it next opinion I really don't care for storyline concepts or the timelines. For storylines, when I first got into K-pop in 2016-2017, I thought all the music videos were made like just because they can. Not because of there's a story behind it or that many videos go hand in hand with each other and are supposed to tell a story. Kind of like how western music videos are. They just make a video with the song and they don't even make sense. So that was a music culture shock to me. And I swear, why is it so noisy out here? And it wasn't until I started studying BTS in 2017 and everyone was talking about piecing the timeline together and I was like, what the frick are you talking about? <laughs> so I saw a bunch of those theory videos and some Twitter threads and I just wasn't following and to be honest it ruined the way I see the music videos and the song because I'm just being reminded of what people are thinking the music video means than me enjoying the song you get me I hardly watch music videos because sometimes they have stops like random scenes and it ruins it for me because I want to listen to the song while streaming that music video in one continuous stream and either way, I don't pay attention to the music video because I listen to music when I'm working, so I prefer to listen to the lyric videos or the official audio so I wouldn't have any stops and they don't benefit me in any way, and I really don't care. And don't argue with me that I have to or I'm missing out. Shut up. Call me when the actual story has been figured out. I don't have time for that. I listen to music when I'm working, so I prefer to listen to the lyric videos are the official audios that has no stops in just one continuous like it's a, the the song i just hate it when uh, music videos take a time to stop and then there's a scene and i'm just like i don't care i want to listen to the song as for concepts i also don't care for what concept a group is doing Oh my gosh, they're doing a cute concept. Oh my god, they're doing a sexy concept. Oh my god, a schoolgirl, a schoolboy concept. A girl crush concept. Or can they change their concept? They did this concept already. I don't like it when they do cute concepts. I prefer sexy concepts. I don't care. It honestly does not matter what concept they do. For me, I still like it. And if I don't, okay. And I never disliked a music video or a concept. Okay, maybe Fire Truck and Limitless was a little weird, but in the end, I don't care because the songs are great. I don't think anyone should. And I didn't know we are here for concepts and themes. I thought we were here for music. BAE 173's music. I follow a bunch of those Instagram K pop opinion slash confessions accounts, and I came across one saying to stand BAE 173. Well, I'm sure that's what they meant because they said BAE 127. I think they just got mixed up. After I corrected them in the comments, I saw another comment that said basically they make basic or generic music. And I replied with, they just debuted, which is true. They just debuted in like November. I liked their debut. I liked their debut song and I would agree it was kind of. A typical song but the rest of their music was good too but that's the thing why do you people have a certain or have certain expectations when a group barely debut 
like ESPA. People were already bashing them and criticizing them and making opinions about them and their music. Like, uh, they just breathed? What the hell? But I was surprised to see this with BAE173 because they are not that well known. So I found it surprising. Unless people recognize them from either Edward Avila's channel or since Doyan and Hangyul were previously from X1. You could have just said their music wasn't your vibe, but you had to, I don't know, saying that was kind of unnecessary because they legit just debuted it. Like I said, they just debuted it a few months ago, so you can't jump to conclusions like this. There's other comebacks that will get to expand their music, and there's always room for improvement. Have you seen the teaser photos, though? This comeback looks like it's gonna be good. Also, Jamin blue hair and Youngso blonde hair supremacy. I don't make the rules. If a group debuts, I don't understand why you can make a whole, like, conclusion on what their music is. They literally only have, like, five songs. That's all. And you're gonna comment on their music that they make generic music. Like, they haven't put out anything out yet. I don't know if this is making sense, but... Like, I would understand if this group were to have already a few mini albums out or a few songs, a few more songs out and they sound generic. Like, I understand when you can, that you can make that conclusion, but if they just debuted it with one title song and a couple of more B-sides, I don't understand how you can just make a whole conclusion about that group with just like four or five or six songs. It doesn't make sense to me. Anyway, Stan BAE 173. Next opinion. Stop telling idols to say yeehaw whenever they come to Texas. And yes, this is coming from a Texan. Also, I know due to the pandemic, nobody is having an in-person concert, but before the whole pandemic, I found it annoying and cringy that fans were begging BTS and CT, ATs, and other artists to say yeehaw. Why are we telling these groups to say something we don't even say in a daily? This term is outdated. Like I say yeehaw, but ironically, and it's not that it annoys me, but like... We as Texans do not genuinely say yeehaw. I'm sure in other places in Texas still do, but these groups come to either like Houston or Dallas Fort Worth and those places do not say yeehaw whatsoever from all the experience I've been there at least. I've been there just to visit, not to actually go to a concert. But yeah, look, I get that it's like our thing and it's what we are known for and it's something that can separate us from other states being a cowboy and shit but telling them to say yeehaw in the concert before they even come gives them the idea and impression that we legitimately say this which will make them think that we actually talk this way don't y'all always hate that stereotype but when it's an idol it's okay People always hated the stereotype that people in Texas are cowboys and they wear cowboy boots and they ride the streets on horseback. But now we're saying for our idols to come and say yeehaw when we thought it was annoying, I, it doesn't make sense to me. I for one think instead of saying that they should say yeehaw when they come, we should tell them to eat at Whataburger because that's much more iconic than them saying an outdated phrase. Us Texans always hated it. Well, I didn't mind, but I've seen K-pop stands everywhere say that they hate when people say that they aren't Texans or Americans, stereotype us to be cowboys riding horses, and most of all saying yeehaw in every sentence we say. But now that idols are coming here, we want to embrace that and give them the wrong idea. Pick a side. I just question it. Whenever y'all are like, please say yeehaw when you come to Texas. Because it's, it's weird. Us Texans don't even say yeehaw. I for one think that instead of telling them to say yeehaw, we should tell them to eat at Whataburger. Plus it pains me that sometimes they come to Texas just to eat at McDonald's or In-N-Out. Like bruh, choosing In-N-Out over Whataburger is an insult to us. By the way, I said what I said. Whataburger over In-N-Out any day. And my final opinion for this video, 
will be. I'm not a fan of girl groups. No, I do not hate them. I just don't really listen to them and I'm a boy group stan and all the groups that I stan are guy groups. And with the whole, if you don't stan girl groups, then you aren't a feminist. Um, what? Um, I'm a woman. I don't understand how you cannot be a feminist when you are female. And again, I don't hate them. It's just what I prefer. I respect them and wish them their success and everything. But I'm just not into them like how I am with boy groups. I literally also have a playlist on my YouTube music with only girl group songs. And it's more than you would expect coming from a boy group stand. If I were to stand a girl group, I would say either Twice, Itzy, and Blackpink, I guess. Because those are the groups that I like a lot of songs from and know everyone's name. But I, again, it's just not the same as how I feel when I stand a boy group and that's completely okay. Like if you had me to choose between going to a concert of a boy group I've never heard of or was a new boy group versus a well-known girl group that I have heard of, I'm gonna choose the boy group show and that's just me. I just, it's just my preference. I'm not gonna go bash a girl group stand for not vibing with a guy group and tell them that they hate men. It's, it's literally just taste and music. Respect both sides and prefer what you want to prefer. And that's my first opinions video. I will be making more in the future. Why are the birds? I will be making more in the future. I will be reviving the opinions that I've made from the Utazen Instagram account to better explain myself because I got, I had to turn off the comments, but I got like really like weird comments that they were commenting about something that they took wrong from my post so I'm just gonna explain it with voice because I think that's better so stay tuned for that if you're interested I know k-pop opinions are kind of like hot right now so and I think it's good that we share our opinions, whether we disagree with them or agree with them. I think it's still good for us to share what we think. And again, it's just an opinion. If you don't like the opinion, it's not that they are wrong or it's that you're correct or your opinion's better. It's just what you think and it doesn't hurt anybody. So yeah, that's all for me. For this video, I'm I'm gonna go back inside because it's it's so noisy out here. But like I said, I can't really. And if you're new here, I've said before in a previous video that I cannot um, record inside. So if you think outside is bad, the inside is worse. So uh, just letting you know. Thank you and see you next time.